Hey guys, it's Liv and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. We are up to Vlogmas number 12 today and I am having a good morning so far. It's Thursday. Um, I am going to do quite like a intense day at the gym. I missed my leg day today on Monday because obviously like you guys so uh, that was the day I hit my toe. And on my booty day this week, which was Tuesday, that was the day that I like didn't finish my workout. So I feel like I haven't really trained legs this week and I was gonna switch my days around, but I thought I'd better like stick to the schedule or whatever. Tomorrow morning, I don't know what I'm gonna do because uh, our flatmate Hazel is going on holiday for the week, like she's going away for the weekend. So I have to take Corby to work tomorrow. And I have to make it like, from our house to his work and back and then managed to get myself to work um, all in one morning. So I don't actually know if I'm gonna be able to go to the gym and to be honest of all the days that I have to miss, I'm not that upset that it's Friday because Friday is arms and if there's one body part that I can afford to miss, it's arms because I swear if anything on my body is developing, it's my freaking arms. Like, I feel like my glutes aren't developing. The corporate's like, Corby tells me all the time, he's like, they are. It's plumping up. It is developing. Stick with it, because I feel like it's not, but it is. Um, but my arms, you guys can't really tell on camera. Like, the muscles don't seem to pop on camera, but, like, you can sort of see the shoulders coming through and stuff like that. You guys, I seriously feel so freaking good right now. Like, I feel amazing after that. When I met with my PT, like, almost 10 weeks ago now, because it was in the school holidays, um, he was like, you can't do barbell, like, barbell squats, like back squats, um, and you need to work on your deadlifts, because, like, my, my back caved in quite a lot, so I've been, like, working on that heaps in the last 10 weeks, and I need to, like, see him again, but I think I'm just going to see him, like, every fortnight in the school holidays, or maybe, like, once a week even, because I don't really spend that much money in the school holidays. Um, the only person that I ever used to spend money with was Emily because I'm at home majority of the time. So anyway, the point is, <laughs> I think I'll probably see him every week or every second week, just mostly for like, just doing like really high intensity workouts, but I might get him every now and then just to like double check my form on some stuff or I might ask him if he can like incorporate one like heavy lift into every workout or something. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that I did barbell squats today for the first time in ages other than um, last week when I tried to film it and <laughs> I did it upstairs. I, I can't remember if I actually told you because I cut this clip out of the gym, out of the vlog. I might chuck it in now if I still have it on my computer, but I was doing barbell squats, but I was doing them at the same place where I smashed my toe. Um, and that's like free weights, but no squat rack. So I had to like do an overhead press and then onto my shoulders. And I did it with 20 kilos, which I can easily squat, but I couldn't get it back off of me. So I had to like let it fall. <laughs> I couldn't push it off and like nobody, nobody really helps anybody at my gym from experience. Um, and I wouldn't have wanted help anyway. I would have been so much more embarrassed. So since then I haven't really done squats and I've been avoiding doing them on the squat rack because like my form is bad. But I did them today and my form from what I could see looked really, really good. And my deadlifts, I decided, there's like a million different types of deadlifts, like literally so many. Um, and the guide says conventional, which is when your legs are like close together. But I decided to do sumo deadlifts, which is when your legs are far apart, because I have like really bad, um, I don't know what the word is, flexibility I guess in my calves and my ankles. So I can't really like do a traditional deadlift because my, my can't, I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't explain it to you guys, but I can't do it. So anyway. Even though it tells me to do conventional, I did sumo deadlifts and I managed to deadlift 40 kilos with relative, like it was difficult AF, but like I didn't get stuck on any of my lifts or anything. So this dress I haven't worn in such a long time since I was like quite a bit bigger. These used to be like skin tight on me and I'm really not exaggerating. Look at how much room there is now, it's amazing. And I actually can't tighten this like this is what it, I used to wear it like this and it used to again be skin tight but I actually can't I don't think I can actually tighten it enough that it's going to be really flattering on my waist but I wanted to wear it this is really old from Glassons I am wearing it with bike shorts um, I need to buy some longer bike shorts so that people can see that I'm wearing bike shorts if that makes sense like I want some that are like this but again these are really old bike shorts 
and that are really like super loose fit um but yeah i thought this was cute i don't know what you guys think but i feel like it's really cute because if i'm wearing anything that i can like majority cover a sports bra like i don't mind that peeking through and it actually looks kind of cute if i can wear something in which you can't see my sports bra i'm gonna wear a sports bra okay it's way more comfortable and I don't know, I just have this new thing where I just like my boobs. And I was listening to a YouTuber and she's the same. I just like my chest looking really smooth rather than having like lumps and bumps from bras. I don't know, can't just be me. But anyway, I feel like my eyes, like I've got eyeliner on, but I'm just wearing lower lash mascara and I don't really normally wear lower lash mascara. So yes. And yes, I know my face is like half pink. That's because I still haven't like cooled off from the gym completely. But... Yeah, I've got my lunch. I've got the chicken wraps again today and I've got some overnight oats and I've got some marshmallows because I've been finding that halfway through the day I want to go and buy sweet treats. So I'm going to take my own sweet treats to hopefully deter me from buying worse sweet treats, you know. Yeah, I've got to edit my vlog at some point today <laughs> before I go to bed. We shall see if I have some time. Dragonite wants to learn roost. Once again, I am vlogging from bed. I just finished, I just finished streaming. I was hoping to have some like cool clips to chuck in here for you guys, but nothing that eventful happened in my stream. It was a really cool stream though, don't get me wrong. But I was hoping to get like a shiny Pokemon, which is like a special one, but I didn't get one tonight. So yes, I am absolutely exhausted i'm gonna go and wash my face brush my teeth and then pretty much just go straight to bed i don't even know if i'm going to manage to edit the vlog before i go to sleep because i'm honestly so tired um i've been really good for the most part at editing ow, at editing the vlogs before i go to bed but tonight i'm just too tired i don't think i can go to the gym in the morning i can't remember if i told you guys because i have to take corporate to work tomorrow because hazel's got a flight in the morning which i feel like i should probably go and wake her up so she can pack. I'm literally unbuttoning this as I'm lying here. I've got a sports bra on, obviously. But yeah, I am tired. I had curry for dinner. I didn't vlog it because I was streaming, but I had butter chicken again like last week. We had it another time. We had it today again because the friend that we were going to go with last week actually came over today, but I was streaming, so I didn't really get to hang out with her. But I did say I was going to stream, so I had to stick to it. But anyway, I'm very bloated is the point of the story. But I did save some for lunch tomorrow because I know I didn't save any last time because I was like, I don't want to. But this time I'm like, give it to me because it's just so tasty. Anyway, I'm going to head to bed. I hope that you guys have enjoyed another short vlog. But I've had a really good day, you guys. Like, work was really fun. Um, I had a really, really lovely day at work. And the gym was great this morning. I've just had a really... Just an overall good day, which has been a while since I've had like a really good day during the week. You know, like I've had good weekends, but it's been a long time since I've had like a really good day. If you haven't already given this video a thumbs up, please make sure that you do. Um, I just am so appreciative of you guys and the love that you've been giving this series. I've had a lot of questions. Um, I've had a couple of questions about whether or not I'm going to be doing YouTube next year. And yes, I will be. Um, I'm open to suggestions on what kind of content you want to see and stuff like that, but I'll definitely be vlogging still and doing YouTube still. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. I'm so tired. 